Welcome to Eildon's user guide series for heating systems. In this video, Catherine will demonstrate the basic controls of your electric storage heater. Storage heaters work by taking electrical charge during the off-peak electricity periods. This is usually overnight. When your electricity supplier makes the off-peak available, your storage heater will automatically start to charge until it's either taken a full charge or the off-peak period ends. The heater will then slowly release the energy generated throughout the day. First of all, make sure that the storage heater is turned on at the wall. You can leave this switch off during the summer months if you know you'll not need to have your heating on. On top of the heater there are two control dials. The input dial on the right controls the temperature of the heater and the amount of energy that is absorbed during the off-peak period. During mild weather you're likely to want to have this quite low, or during the winter you are likely to need to have it set to the maximum setting. The output boost control is on the left. This controls the amount of heat given out later in the day. You should normally leave this boost setting at the minimum, however, if you'd like more heat later in the day you can turn it up. Larger storage heaters may also have a convector heater built in to provide the additional instant heat. The convector element of the heater will have a separate fuse switch which you should make sure is on before using. There are two controls for the convector heater on the front of the heater one for switching on and off, and one for setting the heat level. You should only try to use the convector heating to top up the heat produced by the storage heating element of the heater. If you have any concerns or queries, then please do not hesitate to contact the Eolden office for more advice using the number on screen. Thank you for watching and look out for other user guide videos in this series.